morning. It's nine o'clock in the morning and for a change, I'm not the first one up and moving about. There's been a couple of boats. Right, we're gonna carry on along the Ashby Canal going that way. Uh, and we're going to head into Hinkley, which gets a little bit more industrialised and there's some work buildings, but then it gets back out into the country again, so I'm told. So we'll go and have a look and see what we can see. Well, that's Bridge 15 behind me, and that is the A5 or Watling Street, the old Roman road. And just to the side of me here is the Lime Kilns pub. There's moorings right opposite. You can get food here. You can't get food on a Sunday evening, apparently, but... Uh, yeah, it's a very popular pub in the summer, that, for boaters. There's quite a few boats uh, moored around here now. But we're going to press on right to the end today. We're not going to stop at the pub. Well, even though we're in the more industrial bit of Hinkley, it's all tree lined, so you'd, you'd never really look. No, you have to look through the gaps in the trees, really, to see the industrial buildings. But what you do approach is the old Hinkley Arm. Now, that doesn't actually go anywhere now. It, it only stops a short way up there, uh, and it's just moorings for boats. I think that's uh, all that's left of Days Gone By. Well, that was a nasty little turn back there. I stayed very close to one bank because it's a 180 degree almost turn. And there's a moored boat right next to it. And uh, the canal was so shallow, I didn't have enough water to pass over the, the rudder to, to make the turn. I ended up going straight on with it full over. So there was nothing to do than just gun the engine and hope it came round, and it did. And I managed to miss that boat okay. So uh, yeah, the Ashby Canal, pretty picturesque, but there's some tight turns and it is a bit of a challenge. So we're straight under Bridge 17 and as soon as you come out the other side, there's more boats. Doesn't seem too bad to miss those. It's a really low bridge though, so only just clearing my head. <laughs> the other side you're in civilization so there's a hotel there if you're interested in getting off the boat for the night and more importantly a brewer's fair somewhere to eat if you want to moor off uh, the moorings on this side aren't very good just after that is trinity marina all your usual services compounds fuels gas there's a chandlery there which i believe is just there it is a very very large marina and the last time i went there was when i was looking for moorings and they were very, very approachable, very nice people. And they had a few spaces left. So if you're interested, Trinity Marie. Well, it's a much warmer day today. Uh, I've got my hat on now and the sunglasses. So yeah, quite warm. The jumper's coming off in a minute. I can feel the sun beating down on my back. Uh, but with, before long, I was out of Hinkley and I'm back into the country. And there's a distinct smell of, shall we cut to some scenery then? And a bit of music, why not? DJ, spin that stuff. Boat Company, again full services, looks like there's some sort of shop there, but have a quick look at this. How about that then? When's the last time you saw one of those? Give yourself a point if you can guess what that is. This is Sutton Wharf, and I'll tell you now, that looks tempting to just pull in there and stop for some refreshment, but uh, we'll resist the urge for the time being and we'll keep going maybe on the way back. Well, I've stopped for lunch and that's not been that easy because the sides of the canal are so shallow I couldn't get in. I tried in two or three different places until I came to this spot here. And if you look just down behind me, I don't know if you can see that, but just down behind me, sort of 
this bit here it's an extension out into the canal to counteract that problem so you can moor up and there's enough here to moor sort of half a dozen boats quite easily so I've managed to get in there have a spot of lunch and then we'll move on okay we've come to bridge 42 and this brings us up to the entrance of Bosworth Marina which looks very nice also a spot a little windy hole there as well to help you out Looks like the flags for the Shackleston Festival, which is in there somewhere in that field. I'm not going to it, so I won't be stopping. But it's all restricted mooring along here now for the uh, festival goers. But uh, we're going to go straight through to the other side. Now, this is the liner boats, all for Shackleston Festival. This is all allocated mooring. And they're all moored in end to end, as close as you can get. But just up there, there's one who's double moored right on the narrowest bit. As always, I just made a really tight turn there. Still on this really tight turn. Oh, and then it takes us into an aqueduct. How about that? What a surprise! You just come round the corner and you're straight into it. It's only a little one. It's nice nonetheless. And this looks like the first of the historic boats to make it to this festival. There'll be more along later, I'm sure. But I've just seen a sign back there that says three miles to Snareston. Now at Snareston there's a tunnel and that's pretty much the end of the Ashby Canal. So it's about an hour's worth of cruising and it's nearly four o'clock now so we won't be doing much after we get to the end. So we'll get to the end, we'll turn around more up and looks like we're going to spend the night there. But we'll have a bit of a, a nose round first. In the meantime, I've got another hour's cruising to do. rapidly approaching Snaresden Tunnel. It's not the longest tunnel in the world, but it is just before the end of the Ashby Canal. Up there is a sign saying the Globe Pub. I put my tunnel light on. Let's hope there's nothing coming the other way. in the tunnel now, not going too fast, just on tick over at the moment. But there's a slight kink in the tunnel, but mainly you can see through to the other end that nothing's coming. Nearly out the other side now. I took my slow pipe down, but I genuinely didn't need to. There's plenty of room here, and I have to say, it is the driest tunnel I've ever been through. Not one drop or one damp bit, nothing. It's a really pleasant tunnel. No cobwebs. Fantastic. Well there you are everybody, we're at the end of the Ashby Canal, well as far as you're allowed to go anyway. There is another bit under construction to extend it a bit more but we have to turn here at the uh, windy hole here and we're done. So, got a few boat inspections to do, I'll tell you about that tomorrow. Um, and then I told him where to go and how to get there.